Can't delay any more. Duke of Kent confirms scariest punishment to has after disrespectful act to him. Queen Elizabeth II's cousin, the Duke of Kent, says in a new memoir that he never felt locked into a system that was operating against me as a member of the royal family, contradicting Prince Harry's famous comment that he felt trapped within the system, like the rest of my family. The Duke of Kent's memoir, A Royal Life, marks him as the closest royal family member of the Queen so far to publish his memories of her 70-year-long reign. The book is being compared to Harry's own memoir which is scheduled to be published before the end of the year. In a statement released at the time Harry's book was announced, the prince said he was writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. Harry stepped down from his position as a full-time working member of the royal family in 2020 with wife Meghan Markle and has since spoken of the struggles of being part of the monarchy. Interviewed by Oprah Winfrey last year, both Harry and Meghan expressed feeling trapped inside the royal firm and said that the other family members were too. I was trapped, but I didn't know I was trapped, Harry said, adding that he was, trapped within the system, like the rest of my family are. My father and my brother, they are trapped. They don't get to leave. In the prologue of his memoir, the Duke of Kent, who is the first cousin of the Queen as a son of her uncle Prince George, made the point that he has never felt similarly about his royal role and that he believes supporting the Queen is the most important thing in his life. The Queen has been close to her cousin since childhood, the pair only being ten years apart in age. When Prince Philip retired in 2017 the Duke was asked to step in and accompany the Queen on some of her engagements including, in previous years, the Trooping of the Colour Parade. Aged 86, the Duke lives with his wife, Catherine, at Kensington Palace and was formerly next-door neighbours with Harry and Meghan who lived at Nottingham Cottage. Both the Duke and Duchess of Kent received invitations to attend the couple's wedding at Windsor Castle in 2018. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being accused of shrugging off important lesson from the Queen to go and talk about their royal life with Oprah Winfrey. Royal expert Daniela Elza told the news.com.au how the 95-year-old finds strength in silence a virtue unknown to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Ms Elza wrote, and if ever there has been a time in royal history when the 95-year-old has put that philosophy into blistering effect it has been over the last 365 days and change. Ms Elza added Meghan and Harry's self-righteous repeated airing of family dirty laundry has in fact only really dealt them a PR blow. Both Harry and Meghan told Oprah how much they respected Her Majesty but they both seem to have missed the crucial lesson she could have taught them about not only the power but the dignity of silence. During her interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, Meghan confessed the institution of mistreating her over racism, Meghan revealed that she experienced severe remarks of unborn son Archie's skin while she was still in the UK. They didn't want him to be a prince, which would be different from protocol, and that he wasn't going to receive security, she told Oprah. What's more, she says, we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born.